Amen. May you take your Bible. Lift your Bible up. Those who are watching all over the may the living God bless everyone. This one, Howard, we we'll finish the service. We have to do something. Shout hallelujah. May the living God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Take your Bible. Lift it up. Say, dear Lord, I love my Bible. I, Frank Jamos Apom, will continue to read this book until you can. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is the book of the world, the wisdom. Shout hallelujah. If you want to have more wisdom, you must always read this book. Shout amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Shout amen. Let's turn our Bible right now to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 1. Shout amen. I heard somebody saying, hmm, why? Who read it this morning? Oh, are you sure? Oh, clap your hands for Jesus. Then it's a confirmation. Everybody shout hallelujah. I prepared my sermon was about to preach and today around 12, no, 258. God tapped me and said, son, you have to study. Shout hallelujah. And pray 258. Well, I prayed up to 6 o'clock. Shout hallelujah. Ba 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 6 o'clock. I say, Jason, wake up. Hey, Prince, oh, daddy. Hey, daddy. I say, hey, it is time. <laughs> Everybody shout hallelujah. And God told me to change the message and preach about the book of Luke 1. So it's a confirmation. It means that God has a word for somebody. If you believe that, shout amen. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, the Lord has a word for you. Shout amen. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have your Bible now? Everybody shout hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, sister, my dear brother, I want you to know that your God, the living God, Soon, Soon. will visit you. you. And your life, your life, your, your life, life will never be the same. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. We all know and we've heard about that lady's name, Sister Elizabeth. I'm not talking about Elizabeth. Uh, Amisa. Uh, am I right? No, no, no. Amisa, no. Shout out, and I have another daughter, Lisbeth. Where is Lisbeth? God bless you. I'm not talking about them. Praise the Lord. I want to preach about Elizabeth that marries to who? Zachariah. Pastor who? Zachariah. Put this thing in your mind. And Elizabeth feared the Lord, and his husband too feared the Lord. Both. Shout hallelujah. They were righteous people. They feared the Lord. Okay. If I fear God, then Papa, what do you have to put me into trouble? We all know that John and Elizabeth prayed unto God. They needed what? A child. But God didn't do anything until both reached to the what? Old age. The Bible didn't mention about the age of Zachariah or uh, Elizabeth, but both were what? Very old. Excuse me. How come somebody who is 70, 80, or 90 can conceive. It's a question. They prayed to God and God didn't do anything and they read to some certain level church and they gave up. They what? They gave up. Enough is enough. 
You are here this morning. You've been praying, seeking the face of God. You pay your tithe. You fear God. You've been, God, when are you going to deliver me? And as I'm talking to you right now, you've already given up. That I am tired. This word is for you. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Lord, this kind of dream. Anytime I dream, somebody will come and excuse me with due respect. And sleep uh, with me in my dream. Somebody will try to give me food. Someone will try to chase me. You have been praying, seeking the face of God. Fasting upon fasting. But you still have those dreams. This word is for you. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know that because God loves you, yes. because of the love of God, God can test you. And I've come to realize that as a Christian, the moment God puts you into test, it means that your breakthroughs and your uh, what upliftment is somewhere. And by the time you depart from this place, you will meet your breakthroughs. Yeah. By the time you get to your car, your miracle will embrace you. By the time you go to work, Tomorrow morning at your workplace. Those who have been asking you that where is your God? At your workplace. You are a Christian. They have been saying so many things. Let me tell you this. God will gather all of them. And give your gift back to you. Shout hallelujah. Shout amen. Am I talking to somebody? Everybody shout hallelujah. Church, do not be afraid. Your God will never let you down. Put this thing in. I've preached about this word before, but God wants to take you into another dimension altogether. Somebody, a pastor, a pastor, please, and a pastor's wife didn't have a what? A child. For me standing here preaching to you, praying for those who need their children and the whole thing, and my wife will what? What are you going to say? You've been praying for people and they will conceive. If you know how to pray, why don't you pray for your wife first? That's how some of you will say. You say you are a prophet. Why don't you prophesy? You say you can see. Why don't you see what is wrong with your, your wife? Some of you, 90%. Shout amen. A certain lady let me use this word, foolish lady that came here one time that became, the lady was not a member. Was not a member that came here. And one of my daughter, you know, where is Mama Vic? Mama Vic. Vic is not here. Shout amen. amen. Her daughter, Sister Anne, needed something. I started praying for Anne. Anne wanted to go to Canada. I started praying for Anne. I started praying. Anne showed uh, her friends about those things in, uh, in Canada, the way they can do their things. Lo and behold, they granted them and Anne was still here. Three of her friends went to Canada and Anne was still. It took Anne three years. One time came to office, Prophet, I'm tired and fed up. I want to tell you, indeed, if you're a prophet, pray for me. You've been praying for me, uh, Prophet. 
Since the day I and my husband, we started the thing. Prophet, look at me. I've helped three of my friends. Now all of them, they called me, they asked me, they say, what are you doing? And I look at her and I say, Anne, don't talk as a foolish lady. You can ask Sister Auntie uh, Victoria. Where, where is Mama? Mama Victoria. I think we'll come to the second service. He said, Prophet, tell her. Prophet, tell her. I said, Anne, don't speak like. I rebuke that devil in you. Amen. Prophet, I'm sorry. But you know, my friend, who is that your friend? And mention the name of that friend who used to come here. My friend called me and said, that, and you've been serving God. You've been, serving, you've been going to restoration. Can't, can't your God can't do anything for you. You say your prophet is. But the lady too used to come here. Friends. He said, brother, that's why my friend, I said, I said, don't you know that that lady is a bad lady? That's the reason why you came here? To tell me rubbish? I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Church, and the words that came out from her mouth provoked heaven. Took my oil as a knee down. I wanted to kneel down. In the name of Jesus, Father, prove them wrong. Amen. And let Anne know that indeed you are God. And somebody took it, which I won't mention name, told Anne that if you can go to Canada, then I am not this. Go and tell that your prophet, I am a wizard. The man told Anne. And Auntie Vic called me prophet. You have to rise up. Oh. I was there. The man told my daughter. Prophet, let your God speak. I said, hey. Everybody shout amen. amen. And I told Anne. Uh, Sister Vic, I said, listen to me. Go and tell that man that our God will prove him wrong. Church, I pray for Anne and I declare some certain things upon her life. Lo and behold, the next day, the next day, quang, 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 UPS, powerful package, open, welcome to Canada. And she called me, brother, your God has spoken up. Brother, I can't wait to hug you. Your God, look at this. The one who's talk rubbish. Now, praising the name of the living God. I am here to prove to you. You've been talking and you've been talking. Enough is enough. Keep your mouth shut. Your ways are not the ways of God or neither your thoughts. At the appointed time, your God will prove your enemies wrong. And Mama Vic told that man that my God and the God of my prophet has already proved you wrong. There are some people, church, the enemy can use them. Eh? Your own friend, Christian, the one who speaks in tongues, devil can use him or her and to dump your spirit. And me, I knew that that girl, the one who gave and uh, you know that bad uh, advice, I knew that that girl was a red red, was a witch, agent. And after Anne's issue, lady, you have to keep your mouth shut. The same lady told somebody. That this man has been praying for people. They have been conceiving and the whole thing. How come he can't pray for uh, his sister-in-law? Which is Paul's wife, Rose. I said, this lady, what have I done wrong? With an issue, now my uh, <laughs> sister-in-law. Everybody shout amen. And the same God 
improve her. Uh, you know, the Lord said that I won't give one, but I will give twins. Church, I am here to tell you, God will not give you one. Because they have already provoked heaven, your God is going to give you triplets. Your God is going to give you quadruplets. Your God is going to visit you because they have already provoked heaven. I prophesied to you and I came all the way from the throne room of God and to speak to you because they have provoked your God, your God will speak on your behalf. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, the man of God is talking about you. Everybody shout hallelujah. Because they have provoked heaven, God will not give you just a husband. But God will give you a handsome man. Somebody who is rich. And the Lord at the same time will bless you with children. A man who feared God. God will give it to you. Everybody shout hallelujah. Do not expect the words that will break your spirit down from an unbeliever. You must expect it from your own sister. Your own Christian brother. Because at times the enemy can use them. Put it in your mind. You are here looking up somewhere. Oh, unbelievers, I'm talking to somebody who is right beside you. Can tell you a word that if you don't reject it, a whole day. Shout amen. amen. Am I speaking to somebody? And it came to pass. Do I have somebody in this house who is going through some things right now? Do I have somebody? Do I have somebody in this house that someone has already questioned your God and said, if you have a God, let your God speak. This word is for you. A whole pastor, Pastor Zachariah, how come your wife Elizabeth and the word of the Lord said that both of them fear God? Righteous people. Righteous. Shout amen. amen. The book of Luke, chapter 1, and verse number 5. Hmm. Luke, chapter 1, and verse number what? Five. Number 5. I don't know if we have 5. Do you have 5? Who has the NIV Bible? Pastor Chris, you don't have King James? You have the NIV. Abdul, read. Be fast. Are you there? Or you want me to wait for you? Or do you want us to watch? Uh, look, look right now. Look. Look into your Bible. There was in what? In the days of who? Herod. The king of who? A certain what? Name? Ah? Huh? Eh, is that what? Zachariah of the what? Cause of what? Abia and his. Uh huh. Was that what? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And do you know that Aaron, Aaron was a what? High priest. And this lady called Elizabeth was one of his what? Daughters. Pastor's daughter. The line. Shout hallelujah. Everybody shout amen. And the this, this same lady married a pastor. From pastor's home. Look at this. May God forbid and it will never happen. Ah, me? It will never. La princess, am I right? Pastor's daughter will marry a what? And will not have a baby. That was the same thing. That was the word, the same thing. From the pastor's house. And Zachariah too was a pastor. Anointed man. The one who can speak to God. The man used to serve at the holies of holies. And yes, sir.
Shout amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And they gave up. They what? They gave up. Enough is enough. The doctors told them, you know, mama, you are old now. Pastor, pray, you know, man of God, you, are, you too, you are, there is no way. Oh, honey, let's give it to God. It's the Lord who give it and the Lord who take it. Shout hallelujah. Give up. And go so good. They called Pastor Zachariah to serve. And Zachariah went to the holies of holies and started burning incense. When you go to some churches now, they burn incense. But listen to me, those days, they are all over. The time they used to burn incense, church, it is over. No more. Your incense now is your prayer. Hallelujah. When you pray, it will become like what? Spiritual incense. Powerful aroma. Shout hallelujah. That will reach what? Heaven. We don't burn incense. You can burn incense upon incense. If your prayer or this heart is not right, forget it. Your prayer is your spiritual incense. So look at this. It means that when the man started burning incense, it means that the man was what? Praying. My wife doesn't have children. Married for over 40 years or something. And the man still serve the Lord. Even when you, you will say that, hey, restoration, go away. Oh, God, go away. I've been in this church for 10 years. I've been sitting, oh, I am going. The man served the Lord that the wife didn't have any child, but the man continued to serve God. You and I must reach to the level whereby nothing can stop you not to worship your God. If my wife can give birth, I will serve God. If my wife can give birth, I I will serve God. If I can walk, I have to serve God. If I can't walk, I have to serve God. If I can sing, I have to serve God. If I can't sing, I have to serve God. If I have a car, I have to serve God. If I don't have a car, I have to serve God. You don't have to praise him the time that you have everything. Whether you have it or not, you must still praise the name of the living God. Shout hallelujah. So many Christians this entire, you know, they, they are serving God. They look as if they have contract with God. When they are in trouble, you will see them in the house of God. When something good happens to them, God bye-bye. When another trouble comes, oh, they will come. Recently, I think some two ladies called, Prophet, oh, do you remember me? Do you remember? Long, long, long time. I used to come. You pray for my mother. Prophet, do you remember? I said, I don't remember you. It has been a long time. Prophet, can I see you? I said, I am too busy. You can't see me. And by the way, very soon, I will give my phone back to Pastor Sida. Yeah, the secretary will have to answer my calls. Because my personal phone is few people that have to get it. If not, you will be at home. Kring, kring, kring. Those who are not members will bother you when they call. And if you don't pick, they will stand somewhere and talk rubbish. I've been calling your prophet. Are you a member? Do you pay tight here? Yeah? Yeah. Allow me to sit down and think. To put your pastor somewhere and you will come and bother me. You will suck me and you go and pay tight over there. You think I'm stupid. Eh? These days, I will deal with them. Everybody shout hallelujah. Instead of me to see my members and pray for them, the same people will come. Prophet, here I am, my stomach, my destiny. You disappeared about three years ago. Now that the trouble has come, you want to come back here again. Open the door and go. Amen. 
Everybody shout hallelujah. Benny Hinn, Bishop TJ, some of them, their church members doesn't have their phone, num- uh, 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 yes. phone yes. number. Personal line. Yes. 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 But they still go to church. They still go to church. One time, Evangel Cathedral, one of the, their ministers came here from Sierra Leone. He said, Prophet, my pastor told me I should come and see you with the kind of deliverance. Me. Ah, where is Stanley? Ah, Stanley. I said, who? He said, I'm a, what did they call it? A, a minister. A minister in the evangel. I've been going through some my issues. And my pastor said, I should come. I said, you're a minister. Ah, I said, wow. My name has already gone foul. And because the guy mentioned evangel, I said, kneel down for me. Hold Lamba. Come and see. Prophet Stanley was here. And at that time, patient, the man started, Amy, Amy, prophet is gone. I'm going to tell my pastor. I said, Oh, prophet, I love your church, man of God. I, I said, Let me tell you. He said, Our place, you can't see our pastor. We do the baptism, everything. It is hard. I said, Hey. So people still. When you call your prophet and you say, I am mad. I have been pumping you for, too much, uh, for far too long. Some of you will come here and uh, will stretch it. Ah, the car is not here. But that garbage side. Ah, prophet is not here. You tell him, I pray that one day you will hit the wall. And I won't reverse it, I pray. Because you are seven man. Am I God? Shout hallelujah. And if the man of God is not in town, they will hear. I don't know who tell. <laughs> he's not in town. When they come to faith, they will check if the car is here. Oh, the man is in town. My God is only Him that have power. I am His servant. You must serve Him. You must respect your prophet. You must believe your prophet. You will prosper, but you must put all your fear in everything. Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout amen. Church. And I think those things, I have to do it. Shout hallelujah. I have to, I said, I don't know, oh, you don't remember me. And I remember that. I said, no, I don't remember you. Because of the voice, I said, this is the lady. I said, no, oh, prophet, started talking. I said, madam, I'm busy. Oh, then I will come to you. I said, you better come. What do you have to call me that? Can I have an appointment? Am I the one who... Face the uh, uh, appointment. Shout hallelujah. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is the time. Come, 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 come. I've been calling your prophet. I didn't get your prophet in the whole thing. But if you can check, they are not members. They are not what? Members. And because they are suckers, they want to hurry what? Up and suck you so that they will run. When you give them two months, they won't wait because they need something. But those who are members, when you give them three months, because they are members, they will wait. You will know that they have patience. But suckers will not waste time. They will put their mouth here and one. Ah. So when I become empty, they will run. And I will never be empty in Jesus' name. I will deal with suckers. These days, I will do it. Look at someone and say, soccer, soccer, it's over. Everybody say, do I have a soccer here? Do I have a soccer? Soccer way here. Lift your hands and let me see. So that I will start from you. Uh, lift your hands. (laughs) 
Everybody shout hallelujah. Everybody shout amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Church, <laughs> listen, you know, it's very painful. And it's not a good character. It's painful. They will shock you. A certain guy that one time came here, prove it, I, come and see. I started praying. Come, oh, Holy God, deliverance upon deliverance. Ah! I met that guy somewhere. Say, it has been a long time. Oh, prophet, I've been busy in my church. Hey, you know, I will visit you. Are you guys still there? Everybody shout amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. Look at somebody say, starting from today. Sockers. We. Are you part of that? <laughs> or you are with me? Are you by my side? Are you by my side? By my side, by my side. Everybody shout amen. There was a time, I will mention it. Joey Beto. Through Mr. Joseph Beto. His brother came to me called Smart. And names are, you know, Smart. And the man really, indeed, was very smart. Shout hallelujah. We'll come and begin to talk. Egu, Negu, Biko, something, something. Mr. Joe introduced, was not Angie, introduced, I started praying. A man that wanted to refinance his place. Uh, seven hundred and something thousand dollars. The banks, all of the, you know, you can name it. They turned this man down. Came to me. Ah, prayer. So I went even into a powerful fast. I think it was four or three days, and the man was came to me one day. I said, Mister Smart, did you uh, 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 fast? Oh, prophet, I didn't know. I just finished eating. By the way, I have some of them in my car. And I was fasting. <laughs> and told me that he has some of the food. And I was fasting for him. So that God will do something. And the man ate. And told me that I have the leftover. I anointed him. Very smart man. Will be licking his mouth. Very smart. Shout amen. amen. Church, prayers upon prayers, occultic people upon occultic people came to the right man of God. I prophesied to him that you go to this bank, your God will give you favor. They refinanced the man, I think, received $550,000 or seven hundred fifty or so. Ask Joe and Angie. $750,000. The man that fasted for you, I don't need your money. But church, common sense. You have to remember that man. You can't come and tell me that may the Lord be with you. It doesn't make sense. It's wickedness. Please give me one envelope. Do you have it here? The man came to me. The man told me, a prophet, praise the Lord. They have approved me. Oh. I have my check and everything. I started thanking God. I went my, my, inside my uh, basement, my room. I started thanking God. He lied on my bed. I said, Father, hey, powerful brethren, at least. Something will happen. Oh, I said it. I'm not hypocrite. I said, please, oh my God, something wonderful. So the man told me, the prophet, I'm coming to your house. I said, oh, came to me, drop the envelope. <laughs> Church, if I knew what was in the man dropped, I took that, that check and I took oil. And I pray. 
the way I release, I didn't I release some prayer. In bam, in bam, no bam, bam, bam. The man started. I said, May the living God in the name of Elohim. Amen. I was praying that, Father, let this man go so that I can. <laughs> oh, I said it. I pray. I did. George, I did. So that I can open. I, I opened the. The envelope, it was two hundred dollars. <laughs> Seven hundred and forty or fifty thousand dollars. The man gave me two hundred. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If you're a man of God, you have to be very careful about money. My mind is not on money. My mind is like uh, souls will be saved. But for me to pray for that guy, $200. So I called Joe. I said, Mr. Joe. He said, Prof, Prof. I said, come. I gave Mr. Joe. I said, look. Mr. Joe said, what? What it took him like 10 minutes. What was standing there like a <laughs> pro? We have to give him the money back to him. Nonsense. This is an insult. My God. prophet. I said, Mr. Joe, that is part of the church. And I called him. I said, Mister, I really thank you. Uh, for your, oh, God bless you. Don't mention. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Went to Nigeria. Bought some tankers, trucks, opened a powerful company. Came. Brother, I want to come and see. I said, oh, no problem. You have to come. And he came. Because my mind is not on those things. So he came. I said, how are things? Your business and, oh, bro, I went to Nigeria. Things are, I have my own place now. My cars come and see. I will start, you know, my companies. And I said, be careful about women. Oh, I did. I said, you did what? I have a girlfriend now. I said, how many? Started counting. One, two. You said there are seven. I said, so when you went, you enjoy. Oh, yeah, brother, all of them. There are seven now. In fact, the way they like me. I look at him and I say, Mister, your downfall is very near. I can see it. Be very careful. Be very careful. Oh, pray for me. I said, I won't pray for you. This is the advice. Go. Church. I was in my place, Mr. Joe and Angie, 5807 Lawton Court. Another phone call. Go, 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 go. Prophet, I have a problem. Somebody killed someone in my place and they want to close everything. Can you please rise up and do something, man of God? I said, sir, I am too busy to pray for you. They closed the place. Yes. All the money. Oh, now down to Nothing. zero. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout amen. amen. Wait before him. 
wait before him. Don't rush. Perfect gift cometh from above. Don't rush. Your God will give you a perfect gift that will cause people to fear your God. Have the spirit of patience. That is what David said, that I waited patiently unto the Lord. And my God did what? Heard my cry. When you come down and say, he established my feet and he gave me a firm and my God put a new. Your living God will put a new song in your mouth. Shout hallelujah. When Zachariah started praying, burning incense, lo and behold, the angel of the Lord appeared. The angel of the Lord did what? Appear. And that angel was standing at the right side where they have the altar. And said, Zachariah, you and your wife have found favor in the sight of God. Your wife, Elizabeth, is old, but I want you to know that she will conceive. Zachariah said, Papa Angel, wait. I have a question for, for you. Do you know the reason why Zachariah asked the angel question? He said, I have a question for you. So if God has a good news for me, how come this time? I've been praying ah, now that I am old. That is what Zachariah wanted the angel to know. Zachariah didn't mention, but Zachariah wanted, how come at this time I am old? My wife is out. And now you are here telling me that God has uh, sent you to give me some message. But, but angel, I want to see some kind of proof. Shout amen. As I'm talking to you right now, you have written the word, that state. Am I right? That when God wants to do something right now in your life, there is no way some of you, you it will be too good to Am I right? Is it true that me, at this time, I will have my husband at this time, church, with God, all things are possible. We serve the Lord of possibilities. Your God will cause impossible to become what? Possible. Am I talking to somebody? If I'm speaking to somebody, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. This, word this word is for you. Is if you believe that, shout amen. amen. Do you know that when the angel appeared, Zachariah was afraid? He was what? Afraid. Look at verse 11. Look at verse 11. You can put it there, please. Look at verse 11. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to what? Him standing at the right side of the what? Altar of incense. Am I right? Uh-huh. Go ahead. When Zachariah saw him, he was what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And what happened? Go ahead. Uh-huh. No, look at this. But the angel said to him, do not be what? Do you know the reason why the angel... Please keep it. Do you know the reason why the angel of the Lord said to him that do not be afraid? Zachariah thought that that angel came to strike him. Because in those days, when you go to the holies of holies, and if you are not clean, Holy Ghost strike you. Look at this. How I come? Tell me, sir, let me have you. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. Hey, designer lady, eh? I would forgive me, okay? With due respect, forgive me. Let's take Howard is a priest. Howard is a what? A uh, Papa Zachariah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Going to the holies of holies. And do you know that God in, the, in his own wisdom gave the priest, Aaron, all the pastors, some certain kind of what? Dress. 
that it means that when you see the person, you will know that this is a pastor. Am I right? Am I right? So when you talk about this end time, I don't have to wear white something or to put my clerical, am I right? About the time of the ordination before you will know that this one is a pastor. Somebody can wear it as a pastor all right, but God is looking in your heart. Does it make sense? So for me having my, this doesn't mean that I'm not a pastor. But do you know the reason why God gave it to them in those days? And this time, the priests, they still have those things. But God, in his own wisdom, put something. When a priest wants to go to the holies of holies and serve the Lord, they used to have powerful 18 bells around the what? Their robes. 18. So when they begin to walk, the bells will begin to what? Crank, 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 crank. It means that I am alive. Crank, crank. So when they start doing so many things, you know, some things in the holies of holies, you will hear. Because the church members will be at the outer court and he will be in inner court. Member cannot enter inner court. You will die in those days. So you will hear. Crank, 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 crank. Lord, forgive them. Lord, forgive them. You hear. You say, ah, Pastor is still alive. When the bell stop ringing, it means that something horrible has happened. So who are you to enter the holies of holies and to bring that pastor? You two will die. So the rope around the, uh, his waist, the members will. Pull a whole thing and bring the dead body out. Shout amen. amen. So Zechariah thought that the angel came to what? To strike, to strike him. him. And the angel said that, do not be afraid. Church, I am here to announce to you today that do not be afraid. God has a good news for you. God has a powerful news for you. Everybody shout hallelujah. The angel of the Lord, verse what? Verse 13. Everybody shout hallelujah. Verse 13. And the angel of the Lord said, Do not be what? Afraid. Afraid. And what happened? Uh huh. Look at this. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son. And you have to call him what? You have to call him what? Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, your God, your living God, has a powerful news for you. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Do you know the meaning of John? It means that God has shown me favor. Or God has been gracious unto me. That is the meaning of John. Why God has been gracious unto me? It means that Elizabeth, old woman, there is no way you can conceive. It means that it's because of his grace. Hallelujah. That is why you have this boy. That is why you are going to have this boy. You must name him John. It means that God has shown me powerful favor. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Verse what? Verse 14. Abdul read. He will be a joy and delight to you. Listen to me. Listen to me. He will be what? A joy. A joy and delight to you. Uh-huh. And many will rejoice because of his birth. Listen to me. Your God is about to do something in your life this morning. And many will see. Many will see. And they will rejoice with you. Your God is about to open a new chapter for you. If you will have patience, don't rush in life. Don't not rush in life. Wait before him. Everybody shout hallelujah. Wait before him. And when, and uh, you know, oh my God, everybody shout hallelujah. 
Do, do you know what happened? The angel said to John, because you didn't believe. Hey, Zachariah, because you did not what? Believe. What is going to happen? You will become what? You will become what? Everybody shout hallelujah. Oh, may you make a joyful noise unto God. Everybody shout amen. Everybody shout hallelujah. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is your time, your season, and your hour. I am about to prove to you. And look at this. When John left, the, uh, excuse me, Zachariah left uh, the place, what happened? He couldn't speak. Man of God, we salute you. And he started using signs. There's a fish. If it's today, somebody will say that demon has loved our pastor. <laughs> it's a demonic attack. But that one was not demonic attack. It was angelic word, punishment. Everybody shout amen. amen. Do not disbelieve your God. Amen. Believe your God. You must believe that everything that he has already revealed to you at the appointed time, at the right time, it will surely come to pass. Amen. You think that your God cannot do it. Who told you? At the appointed time. Everything goes with time. And his time is the best. His time is the what? The best. the best. Wait for him and see what he will do in your life. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And look at verse 19. What happened? Abdul read verse 19. The angel said, do, do we have 19? Do you have 19? Uh -huh, go ahead. The angel said to him, Look at this. And the angel said to him, I am Gabriel. Oh, look at this. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Who said? Who said? The angel. Huh? The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. Uh -huh. Look at what he said. I stand in what? In the, presence of God. in the presence of God. Uh huh. And I have been sent. Be on, be on your feet. Be on your feet. I will read. Uh huh. Go ahead. And I have been sent. Look at this. Oh, oh church. <laughs> Look at this. Angel Gabriel said to him, "I am Gabriel. Am I right? Yes. I stand before who? The presence of God." We used to have three archangels in the Bible, and now we have two. Because one has already lost his what? Position. That is Lucifer. He used to sing. He used to what? Sing. Powerful singer. That's why at times, far be from you guys. That's why at times, some, some of the singers at times, not Restoration Chapel, you can see arrogant type of what? Spirit. They will live there. I sing better than you. I am this. The way they behave. If you want to know some kind of arrogant spirit at times, you can find it from singers. But singers, I have a good news for you. If God himself and the angels, Michael and Gabriel, through the word angel, Lucifer, on what? On earth. You are not powerful than Lucifer. When you make wabi wabi, God will kick you. God told the listen, go away. I have other people that can sing. And I want to see my own people. Those that I have what created. I want to see them praising my name. Because God such, am I right? And the Lord in his own wisdom formed you design you. So God wants to know his own what? Handiwork. It's a privilege for you guys to sing. It means that God has shown you favor. It doesn't mean that you know how to sing or you sing better than someone or you know how to do something. It's favor. When you make wabi wabi type, 
God will kick you and bring somebody who can sing even better than you. Shout amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. If I'm speaking to somebody, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I am Gabriel. Stand before who? The presence of, of God. Of God. Uh -huh. And I've been sent to speak. Listen to me. And I have been sent what? To speak. To speak to you. To you. Uh -huh. And to tell you this good news. And to tell you this good news. And you are here talking rubbish. That's what the angel wanted to tell uh, uh, Zachariah. Papa Zachariah. I stand before his word presence. And I have been sent to what? To speak to, to, speak to you. To give you good news. Uh-huh. And now you will be silent. Look at this. And now I want you to know, because you didn't believe, you will be what? Silent. silent. Uh -huh. And not able to speak. And not able to speak. Until the day this happened. Until the day this happened. Because you did not believe. Because you did not believe my words. Which will come true. Which will come true. At the appointed time. At the appointed time. Everybody shout Hallelujah. Everybody shout amen. amen. The angel mentioned at the word, appointed time. Am I the one who put it? The angel of the Lord said that at the word, appointed time, which it will come through at the appointed time. Every prophetic word has his word, his time. Your prophetic seed has its own time. The time of God's manifestation. Wait before God. This 21st century Christians, we rush too much. We need quick, 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 microwave type of miracles. But some people waited. Do you know that some kind of promises God gave Abraham, Abraham didn't see them. It's me and you that we are enjoying about the prophetic word that came upon who? Abraham, because you and I, we are the seed of Abraham. Some prophetic words concerning your life, you and I will enjoy just little and leave it for our children. Wait before God. Zachariah didn't believe. And the angel knew. I beg you in the name of Jesus that believe your God and trust your God. If you and I want to look at the physical things or the things that our doctors or somebody would, church, don't get me wrong. Doctors are not evil people. They are good. Some of them. Some are, uh, they are in all court and something, but I'm talking about the genuine ones. Shout amen. We have good ones. So if your doctor tell you someday in the whole thing, church, as a Christian, you also have to believe your God. Because I know that my papa God is the greatest and the powerful physician that can do things in my life. That is my belief. And I don't know about your belief. Believe God. I say, believe what? God. Believe God. Before we share the grace, let me tell you something. <laughs> Abdi, God bless you, sit down. We all know that Zachariah couldn't what? Speak. Till the day the prophetic word what? Came to pass. Am I right? This end time, I am here to tell you, some of you, some of you, you can't talk. You are now a what? A dump. Somebody asked me and said, why? Yeah, you are now a dump because you can't talk. Do you know the reason why? Because some things God has already revealed to you, you don't believe it. And you have become what? Spiritually what? Dump. That's why you can't pray. That is why you can't sing. 
But if you and I will begin to believe God about the things that he has already what released concerning your life, you and I will begin to sing praise and honor unto him. Zachariah and the wife feared the Lord. But church, they didn't have any child. But God proved himself. See that at your old age, the time everyone has said that there is no way something good will what? I, the Lord, will come in and change things. Now is the time. May the living God change things in your life. May you be on your feet. Look at somebody and say, it will surely come to pass. I will never give up. Shout hallelujah. The title of this message is that don't give up. Your miracle is on the way. Don't give up. Everybody shout hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, don't give up. Look at somebody and say, don't give up. Your miracle is on its way. Coming. Do not give up. May you touch your heart. Touch your heart. At the appointed time. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. At the what? Appointed time. It will surely come to pass. I don't know if this word is for somebody. But I know that it's for me. Shout hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, do not give up. At the appointed time. It will surely come to pass. Shout amen. amen. If you and I have faith like a word, a mustard word, see, you can speak to the mountains. And the mountains will. <laughs> At the appointed time. Shout amen. A certain lady in somewhere in uh, I think East Africa, I don't know the exact Tanzania and those things. Am I right? It's East, am I right? I don't know the exact uh, please forgive me. Oh, uh, her pastor started preaching about faith. That if your faith is like what? Most of seed, you will speak and the mountains will. And the woman used to have some powerful land and have uh, mountains. And one time the woman uh went to her place and started speaking. That I command you this mountain to remove. This is what my pastor said, that if we have faith, I command you this mountain to what? And the mountain was still. The next day the lady went. Nothing happened. The third day, nothing happened. And went to church. After the service, went to the pastor and said, Man of God, you spoke about faith. That if our faith is like a master seed, we can speak to the mountains. I went to my farm. And those mountains, they have already occupied my lands. I need them to, to plant my seeds. I went there for, I've been there for three days, started speaking, and the mountain is still. So I said to myself that I have to come to church and take you myself to my farm and for you to speak. Because as a man of God, I know that God, the pastor said, Woman, which kind of temptation do you want to put me into? He said, But are you not the one who preached? The pastor said, I was talking about the spiritual. The man of God was preaching. I saw it. Was giving some kind of testimony. I was preaching about some kind of faith, spiritual. I said, I said no. You said that if we, our faith, we have faith, like a what? Master said, we can speak to the mountains. And I have mountains in. That is the reason why. So you can't tell me that. 
The pastor said, Madam, let me pray for you. He said, Man of God, prove to me that indeed your God is God. The pastor said, It was symbolic. And he said, What kind of? He said, Let me pray for you. And the pastor prayed for the woman. Do you know what God did? Do you know what the Lord did? <laughs> Do you know what God did? Do you want to hear? Church, you must have faith. You must have faith. And a certain powerful construction company came from Germany to uh, face the uh, roads and needed some stones, rocks. So they checked this place, checked this place, they couldn't find, and went to the woman's farm, checked, and that lady's, uh, the mountain, uh, the stones, were the powerful one, rich one. And they said that they don't want anyone, they don't want to take it, but they want the woman's, uh, uh, the stones, that is in her what? Her farm, they want that one. And they have to sign a contract before they will start the kingdom. So the woman came and gave a testimony. Went to the pastor, they signed a contract and they started taking the stones. And the woman became rich. Paid the tithe to the pastor and the pastor too became rich. The woman started exercising her faith but not knowing that God wanted to use that area and to bless that woman. Let me tell you this. The woman wanted them to take the soul, you know, and for her to plant a, one, a seed and some people came and said that we will take it away for you but at the same time we will pay you. Exercise your faith. Continue to say it. Dream about your faith. Practice about your faith. When you begin to practice about your faith, people will tell you you are crazy. Continue to do it. And when it comes to pass, then they will know that, excuse me, you are not a cuckoo. And I am a good man eh, to tell you now and you can let me tell you this, I can tell you that I me I have done it before and the Lord did it I have done it before shout hallelujah can you use your own house key as your car key I did it ask Pastor Vivian my wife one time I finished sitting, we were sitting, I took our uh, uh, house key, our apartment, started, rim, 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 rim. And I picked my Bible, started driving, rim, 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 my wife, my wife looked at me and said, I wanted to say something, but I think she was afraid. It means that, are you okay? We, we, we. Lo and behold, a certain lady came, baby. Baby came. He said, Eja, it means father, please let us have our peace. My wife said, Eh? We, 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 we. I finished, we, we, I became tired. Took my shower, <laughs> went inside my room. Lo and behold, my wife told me that Kwejo is here. One of my, they said, Papa, 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 pa. oh, how are you doing? Robert, I have this cow. I want you to, listen, listen, I have this cow. I want you to give me just a little money, peanut, and take the car. How much do you want? Just a little. I said, I said, what? He said, just a little. I need it. I gave it to him. He said that this is your key. That was my first car. This is your key. When I started, we, 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 my wife thought that. But when I finished, lo and behold, give me the khaki. I gave her 
I him little money. Just peanuts. Give me the car. Your car key. I didn't know how to drive home. Give me the key. If you know that you are rich, you have to put it into what? At times in your bedroom, change your walkings and walk like a rich man. At times in your bedroom, talk like a rich man. I'm telling you, do you know the way rich people they talk? They don't talk about, 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 about. they take their time because they have money. How are you? How are you? Good morning, sir. You can take your seat. You know that money is talking. But you that you don't have, you talk, how are you doing? Yes, sir, sir, I am good. Poverty is not good the way you talk. Yes, sir, sir. You say you can go. You say, yes, sir, do you want me to go? Poverty. <laughs> sit down. He said, do you want me to sit? May the Lord change your life today. Everybody shout hallelujah. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. you can ask my wife. I, will, I can never stand here to lie to you. May God forbid. You can ask her, give me the car. And my khaki. I have to tell somebody, please, I want you to teach me how to drive. And it became my first car. Ring, ring, ring. With my Bible and my apartment key. And it came to pass. Shout hallelujah. At times you have to pick your phone and talk to someone. Speak like a rich man. You can talk to Papa Trump. And you will meet him. Everybody shout hallelujah. You can talk. I have done it before. I picked my phone. Uh, 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 uh. It was my remote control. Television uh, uh, one. Hello, hello, hi. Benny Hinn, how are you? Yeah, yeah but brother Benny, I'm coming to Canada. I will see you, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? And the same, my wonderful wife started looking. <laughs> Another one. Shout hallelujah. And that one there, she tried. <laughs> she grabbed me somewhere and took the, the remote control. You can see her now. Clap your hands for her. And took the, uh, uh, what? The remote control. And said something now, daddy. Mama soon quit, didi. It means that let me have my peace. And put the remote control somewhere. And I was standing, looking for another strategy that I can so I started walking in the hotel and I took it back and I ran from her. <laughs> and at this time was not inside my uh, apartment but the street. Yeah. On the street because inside she would take it back. <laughs> so I came out on the street. I started, yeah, Benny, yeah. And I started telling my leg, yeah, brother Benny, yeah, how are you? I became tired. <laughs> and I put it back. Shout hallelujah. Do you know that I think in a week or two weeks time, invitation from Canada, 1999, was not in America, Germany, Canada first. And I went to Canada. When I went to Canada that same day, I think two days or something, Benny Hinn was doing some crusade. I went there and I saw Benny Hinn, met Benny Hinn. <laughs> How come with all the pastors, that was mentioned by Hins. Prophesy to yourself. Amen. Back it with faith. Amen. Say to yourself, it is not over until it's over. Amen. Say to yourself that I know that I can make it. Amen. You must have faith. Amen. You must what? Have faith. And you will get there. May the living God bless you. Amen. Everybody shout hallelujah. Amen. May you sit down. Sit down. Touch your heart and let me bless you. I have just five minutes. I'm done. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you begin to thank God right now. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, listen to me. I want to right now, if indeed, if I be a man of God, May this direction come to pass. I want you to tap into something right now. Put your hands into your own pocket, your own bag. Tap into something now. We are going to put it into practice right now, our faith. We are going to do something now. We are going to do something now. 
and it will surely come to pass. We are going to do something now. Today, do not allow the enemy to fight you. Take something now. Put your hands into your bag, your own pocket. Take something. That is your, your, your seed unto God. The seed that you want to put before this altar. And your life will never be the same. May the living God today uh, pray over it right now. Pray. Speak unto it right now. Take something. Do something you've not done it before. And your God will do mighty things upon you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Pray, speak to God and say that, Father, I believe that this will come to pass. I believe that I will have my husband. I believe that uh, you will touch my uh, wife. I believe that you will touch my father. I believe that you will touch my mother. I believe that, Lord, you will do something. I know that I will not die, but I will live and declare the words of the Lord. I know that this sickness will not take me. This sickness, this sickness. Oh, Lord, stand on this. Stand on this. I have something yesterday uh, the lady that we used to visit in London yes sent me something yesterday I have it it was late went to do some kind of uh, estuary am I right they took some pictures uh, about her lungs am I right lo and behold do you know what happened they saw inside her lungs. They saw roaches. Yeah, a roach. A roach. They saw it inside her lungs. They took the picture. I have it on my phone. I will show it to you. sent it to me and said, a man of God, pray for me. A what? A roach. Somebody's lunch doing what? When I left here, I saw it. Princess knows her, my wife, when we used to visit her. Uh, but it will never. I'm going to call her to, tomorrow and that roach will say Anto or somewhere must run Amen. shout hallelujah you will release spiritual bullet so I declare in your life nothing can stay in your system no sickness huh? as a child of God and as a member here with this kind of anointing in Banu unless you disobey God everybody shout hallelujah Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, we serve a wonderful God. May this altar speak on your behalf. Drop it right now. Drop it right now. Thank you, Jesus. Say, in the name of Jesus. Say, in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual roach will die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rats, they will die. Nothing will stay in my system. I return it back to the sender. May the altar speak on your behalf. Drop it right now and go. Drop it right now.